friends welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly grocery haul and meal plan this week's haul is from aldi um i probably spent more than i should have uh but this time of the year i feel like i always spend more at the grocery store because i'm either stocking up for holiday meals or i am buying all of the fun fall themed tr treats whether it's apple cinnamon flavored stuff or pumpkin pie flavored stuff so we bought some more of that kind of stuff today i had the kids with me and it's just fun buying all the different fall things. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the meal plan for the week and then we'll get into the haul. Okay, here is the meal plan for the week. So for breakfast on here, I've got mummy danishes. We're gonna start doing some of our Halloween breakfast to get ready. And I will be sharing those videos with you guys in October. Um, and the mummy danish is one of the kids' favorites. So we're gonna make that, but we're gonna do a little, do it a little different with some pumpkin cream cheese this time. Then we've got yogurt, fruit and granola, that's like the kids usual. And then my usual is avocado toast. And then I've got plenty of breakfast burritos in the freezer for Andy. Lunch, we've got leftovers, mac and cheese, corn dogs, snacks. We're gonna make some caramel apple grapes. And then we've got all kinds of other stuff in the cabinet, squirrel bars and stuff. Dinners, we've got Philly cheesesteak pasta skillet. Cheddar Bay Chicken Bake with Green Beans, Steak and Potato Soup with some bread, Stuffed Crust Pepperoni Pizza and Salad, Barbecue Ribs with Instant Pot Mac and Cheese and Salad, Shrimp Fried Rice, and Meatball Subs and Salad. And that is the meal plan for the week. Okay, here is everything that I got today. It pretty much covers the entire counter. Uh, if you want to guess the total, go ahead and leave your guess in the comments down below and I will tell you the total at the end. Start over here, we've got a gallon of 2% milk for the kids, some of the Fair Life for myself, some more of this strawberry lemonade that we love. It's comparable to like the Simply Lemonade. The orange juice that we really like, some Stoke Cold Brew. I picked up two different creamers this week. This pumpkin spice almond milk one that I bought last week, very good. Love this. Gonna continue to buy this as long as it's in stock because it's very good. This one it costs a little bit more, um, but it's the Chobani Oat Pumpkin Spice Creamer. Um, I wasn't drinking oat creamer this time last year, um, so I never tried this. Uh, I did try the Chobani Oat, I think it was the Peppermint Mocha one last like Christmas time, and it was good. I bought it multiple times. So I'm hoping this will be good, and I went ahead and picked up both just in case they don't have any next week. And then Lily was begging me, or asking me multiple times, are they going to have the pumpkin spice whipped cream again? Whoever had it, can you buy it again when you see it? And I was like, yes. And then I saw somebody share a picture on Instagram that it was back this year. So we saw that and picked that up. Elijah asked for cottage cheese. We got some of our vanilla Greek yogurt. We got eggs, two dozen eggs. They are currently eating Lunchables for lunch. Elijah picked... Turkey and American. Lily picked pizza with pepperoni. Got more of this yogurt. It's blended Greek yogurt in pumpkin pie and apple cinnamon. And then a maple. Who got the maple to try? Lily? Yeah. Lily got the maple to try. And then she also got the apple cinnamon to try. Elijah had the apple cinnamon last week. And then he got the pumpkin to try. I still have one of each flavor in the fridge to try. I haven't even tasted them. Um, the pumpkin smelled really good and Lily really liked it. Um, and Elijah had the apple cinnamon and really liked it as well. So the kids like them. I will let you know whenever I do try them what I think. Then we got some corn dogs, this pork schnitzel. I just figured that would be an easy dinner at some point. I've heard good things about these in the past. So I went ahead and picked one up. And then we got some fun ice creams. This is the apple cinnamon ice cream and then the pumpkin spice ice cream. So we got those to try. Got some crescent dough, lots of sliced cheese. Monster just sounded really good for some reason, so I got that. And then some provolone for a recipe, sliced mozzarella for a recipe, two bags of the shredded mozzarella because it's easy and that's what I need right now in my life with getting back into the homeschool routine. Sometimes you just have to take some shortcuts and one of those is buying shredded cheese. 
Got a cucumber, two big old bags of carrots, some Granny Smith apples, romaine lettuce, cornstarch, powdered sugar, some grape tomatoes, two avocados, some little baby gold potatoes, four cans of green beans, some roasted salted peanuts, these maple leaf cookies, we get these every year, I think for the past three years. This will be the third year, I think, that we've bought these. They're delicious. The kids love them, so we got those. And then this I saw as I was checking out pumpkin seed and flax granola cereal. You could eat it as cereal, but I figured it would be good in some yogurt. So I got that. Got some saltines, some popcorn, elbow macaroni. Got taco shells. They had them back in the store, so I was very happy to see the 89 cent taco shells. So I picked one up. We're not having tacos this week, but I just got it just in case they run out again. Got some trail mix for myself. The Serenity trail mix this time with almonds, walnuts, raisins, dried cranberries, hazelnuts, and pecans. Then, I've never tried these, but they sounded good. Some of the Aldi version of Cheetos. Then I saw somebody share these on TikTok and they said they were good. Crinkle cut raised beef short ribs, or braised beef, not raised beef. <laughs> braised beef short ribs, kettle cooked chips. Gonna give them a try. Sat them pretty good. She said they were good, so we got those. Got some pretzel twists, some oats and honey granola, some shell pasta our favorite marinara sauce, some 100% whole wheat bread, two loaves of this Italian bread because they were 50% off. I needed one anyway, but went ahead and got another one to throw in the freezer. Some pumpkin spice bagels, napkins, paper plates, and then I finally picked up this food storage thing. I've been wanting it, um, but I finally bought that today. It was $15, 10 piece food storage, um, so it's five containers and then the lids. It's got a really big one. What does it say it is? 18.6 um, cup capacity and then two of the 4.1 cups and then two of the 1.25 cups. So one of these, two of these, and two of these. And I thought that would be good for storing like our produce and stuff in like lettuce. It's got a better seal than some of the containers that I use. So excited to give those a try and see how we like them for storing stuff in the refrigerator. But that is everything that I picked up at Aldi today. Okay, my total for everything that I got today was around $160. The exact total will be here on the screen for those of you that are interested. I don't think that's too bad of a price especially considering i spent 15 dollars on the food storage set so take that off and then you know we're back down like under like to a normal amount that i would usually spend on groceries for the week but that is going to do it for today's haul i hope that you enjoyed it if you've tried any of these seasonal items from aldi already let me know your thoughts on them down below in the comments and I will try to share with y'all in the comments and in next week's video what we think. But you can also always follow me over on Instagram. My link is in the description box. And I usually share like updates as soon as I eat the items like over on my Instagram stories. But that is going to be it for today's video. I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.